Hello and welcome to Credit B presents RCB Bold Diaries. Do you want to just make sure, because there's other teams walking past here, yeah. and today might not be an issue, but we need to make sure the yeah, doors stay closed all the time, please. Do you have enough clarity on the rule in terms of who can be subbed and whether it's an Indian player that will have to only come in, it cannot be a foreign player? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, look, we have got the, the playing conditions only relatively recently, but um, yeah, it's only for Indian players, so you can't replace no. an overseas with an overseas unless you only start with three. Okay. So if you start with three, you could your impact player could be an overseas, but if you start with four, it can't. So that in itself you know, limits your options there. Um, they've obviously got to come from within your um, selected squad of 15 that you pick on that day. So, you know, you've got to make assessments when you see the pitch whether you want, you know, extra spin cover, scene cover, whether you want that power batter to come in and, and add some impetus or that impact. So, um, as I said, we've got players within our squad who we think can do that. Yeah. Um, but we've certainly spent some time thinking about that. And I guess the scouting team is going to be pretty busy in case that they want to pick up someone in particular. Tell us a little bit about the role of the scouting team as far as the auction is concerned. And how does Marlolan and his team gain your trust or Sanjay's trust when they identify a new talent? Well, I think that trust has been built up over the last three, three years or mm -hmm. so. Um, you know, Marlolan has got a good team together. Uh, we've certainly got a lot of trust in the players that he presents to us. And then we challenge it. You know, I think it's a, it's a robust system. and. I guess you build up um, trust through performance, like like a player does. And uh, certainly, our scouting team have come up with a lot of you know high quality players over the years. We've got a really good system. It's not a matter of just holding the odd camp and, and picking out players mm -hmm. on those days. You know, we we gather a lot of information about players throughout the year, uh, and we see them in multiple situations. So it's about triangulating information. You know, what you see visually data, you know, we all see scorecards, but we want to dig a bit deeper into that data as well. And then we, as I said, we, we get multiple eyes on that player, um, so we can gather enough information to make an informed decision. So uh, we're, you know, we're pretty pleased with how robust that is. Um, but like all parts of our business, we try and we try and improve every year. I do have one question though, I think a lot of fans would love a quick update on that. I'm hoping we don't need a scouting team to come and show a replacement. <laughs> Maxi, freakish injury, What's, is that a concern? Will he be ready for the IPL? Oh, look, I, I mean, he's hopefully going to be ready for the end of the big bash. So, oh, okay. um, he's, look, he's well advanced in his progress. Um, he's out of his moon boot. He's progressing nicely, but um, it's not something you want to rush. You know, when you have a, a major injury like that, you've got to take your time. But um, in my last communication with him, he's um, reliably told me that he's a, a genius at rehab, so um, <laughs> let's see how. But he's, he's progressing really nicely. Um, and yeah, we certainly at this stage don't have any concerns over his availability for the IPL. I guess they all want to see him at the Chinnaswamy. You've been around for three years. Unfortunately, we haven't had any cricket in our home ground. I know the fans are excited. How excited are you, Mike, that cricket's coming back to the Chinnaswamy? Oh, I look, very excited. You know, I've been there many times with different teams, you know, with New Zealand and um, and I've loved the atmosphere, but to come back as a, you know, as part of RCB will be really special. And I've heard so many stories about it. Uh, I want to, you know, I want to feel that, that fan vibe, um, you know, for myself. You know, the, the drive from the hotel to the ground is, is pretty special from what I understand. Obviously practices, you know, we get, we get people supporting us and, you know, where possible. Um, and I just know how great the RCB fans are. So I can't wait to, to be part of that and sort of suck up all of that energy. Uh, and I know the players that haven't played there before, even someone like Maxi, who you just talked about, you know, he's had some great success at Chinnaswamy, but not yet for RCB because he hasn't played for us yet there. So he's certainly looking forward to playing on that surface and uh, you know, exciting the crowd. One final uh, question. You mentioned about the 18 members that are retained. Now we're going to be playing at the Chinnaswamy. It's a smaller ground. How do you see this team making sure they have that what is required to play at a ground like the Chinnaswamy? Yeah, well, that's a big part of when you look at your retentions. You know, you look at it, where you're going to be playing most of your ground or most of your games. Do you have the players to suit that? You know, we have, we have obviously loads of data on what types of players and perform well at Chinnaswamy, and, and we know all of that. Um, so. You know, this auction as well, we'll be looking for players who we think will be able to perform well at Chinnaswamy. I think if you can make your home ground a bit of a fortress, 
um, and you know those facilities well and, and you win games at home. It obviously makes it a lot easier for when you're playing away. So yeah, a big part of your squad whenever you, even at the big auction, was around you know, the hope that we're going to be playing at Chinnaswamy for right. at least half of our games. So how are we going to structure our team? So I think we've got a really good side that um, will play well at Chinnaswamy. The types of bowlers that we think will do well. Um, obviously from a batting point of view, um, you know, players that uh, will maximise the ability to play on a flat surface. Um, you know, Virat obviously has got huge experience and, and knowledge of the ground. Um, and I think, you know, we could well see him back to his best this year as well. I guess we're looking forward to seeing so many in the RCB jersey at the Chinas one. We haven't seen Faf there in an RCB jersey. So a lot of things to look forward to, Mike. We're going to let you go. I know we've had a few long days and uh, wish you the best as you get ready for IPL auction once again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.